now on Deflategate. Tom Brady has filed an appeal of his four-game suspension, and the NFL announced late last night that Commissioner Roger Goodell will personally hear that appeal. ABC's Ryan Smith here with the story. Good morning, Ryan. And good morning to you, George. The league rejecting Brady's request for a neutral third-party arbitrator, but the Players Association sharing his appeal exclusively with us, attacking the so-called Deflategate report is, quote, wrought with unsupported speculation. Meanwhile, the Patriots going on the offensive in their defense of number 12. The Wells report in context lays out the Patriots' case, stating there is no evidence that Tom Brady preferred footballs lower than the league norm of 12.5, and no evidence that anyone thought he did. The report also aims to shed light on one of America's most mysterious figures, locker room attendant Jim McNally, a.k.a. the deflator. According to the Pats, that nickname has nothing to do with deflating footballs. One possibility, they say, it was a reference to his desire to lose weight. The In Context report also addressing McNally's alleged trip to the bathroom prior to the AFC Championship. The Wells report claims McNally used this trip to deflate the balls. But according to the Pats, the report does not address whether one minute and 40 is consistent with the time that it takes a gentleman to enter a bathroom, relieve himself, wash his hands, and leave. In fact, it is. Also new this morning, the NFL Players Association, representing Brady, sharing the contents of the appeal exclusively with ABC News, writing in it that Brady's punishment is based on insufficient evidence and claiming Brady's treatment is unfair and inconsistent, asserting no player in the history of the NFL has ever received anything approaching this level of discipline for similar behavior. The Players Association in the, in the appeal also vowing to call Commissioner Roger Goodell as a witness to answer questions about how Brady's discipline was handled and, quote, what may have been a sting operation to try to implicate the Patriots and Mr. Brady in deflating footballs, George. Okay, Ryan, thanks. So Dan Abrams is here right now. So Goodell, witness and judge. Surprised? Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, look, technically under the NFL Constitution, Roger Goodell is allowed and empowered to hear these sorts of appeals. Typically, you'd expect the commissioner would hear this sort of appeal. But in this case, with this amount of controversy, and because he's been under fire uh, for so long now, I would have expected that he would have wanted an objective person to hear it. So what? So if someone else comes in and says they got it wrong on deflating footballs, what's the big deal? This isn't a particularly sensitive topic. It's not related to racism or sexism or something else like that. So, so if he gets repudiated, as he has in the past, for example, in the Ray Rice case, by an objective um, neutral arbitrator, who cares? So I am surprised that he's hearing it himself. Unusually detailed appeal. Yeah, oh, yeah, very detailed. Three basic arguments. Number one, procedural, saying that the executive vice president of the NFL didn't have the power or the authority to issue this punishment. Number two, that the punishment doesn't fit the crime, saying that it should have been uh, fair and consistent with past punishments, hasn't been. And number three is substantive, saying that the Wells report simply can't be trusted. Too many inconsistencies there. The strongest argument, in my view, is punishment doesn't and fit the crime. And that could apply to the Patriots' uh, penalty as well. Well, the Patriots with a separate appeal. Yeah. So they have till May 21st to appeal. They actually have a stronger argument within the NFL to appeal to say, wait a sec, the Wells report itself cleared the owner and the coach. So why are the Patriots getting this enormous fine and losing these draft picks? Their argument within the NFL is actually stronger than Brady's, although Brady has a more likely chance to take this outside of the NFL and to actually then sue in court if he loses in the NFL. Okay, Danny Abrams, thanks All very right. much.